All right, this morning, an update on a story we've been following about a, about a professor forced to cancel his speech at MIT over his push to evaluate students based on merit and not racial equity. That push to cancel him backfiring as thousands register to attend his lecture now rescheduled at Princeton. University of Chicago student Audrey Unverfirth will be attending this speech. She joins us now. Audrey, why was it important for you to be a part of this comeback story for this professor? Well, thank you so much for having me, and I'm so, so excited to attend Professor Abbott's speech next week. I've known Professor Abbott for about a year now. He's a geophysicist and professor at the University of Chicago, where I'm currently a senior. And at the University of Chicago, I co-founded the Chicago Thinker, which is a student-run newspaper where I'm the editor-in-chief, and we're dedicated to challenging the mob's crusade against free speech. And I have to say that Professor Abbott stands out as one of the few faculty members willing right now to put his name and career on the line in order to defend free speech. And he's always said that he's he's not a particularly political person. He's never thought of himself as a political person, but he's extraordinarily brave and he's really, really leading the charge right now against the cancel mob. Right. So I wouldn't, I'm so yeah. grateful for his you know, Which is great. University of Chicago and Princeton usually not pushing back against the cancel mob they're usually joining right. in it not this time so here's a right. uh, an excerpt right. from the uh from the newsweek editorial that he put out the words diversity equity and inclusion are often supported by well-intentioned people but their effects are the opposite of noble sentiments it requires being willing to tell an applicant i will ignore your merits and qualifications and deny you admission because you belong to the wrong group we propose an alternative framework called merit fairness and equality whereby the university applicants are treated as individuals and evaluated through a rigorous and unbiased process based on their merit and qualifications alone. I am heartened by this story in a way, but also surprised, Audrey. This is an anomaly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, think, I think so, but I hope that Professor Abbott's cancellation is one of the last, if not the last. Maybe that's a naive hope, but I'm so heartened by the amazing support he's gotten from all across the country. He has countless supporters here at the University of Chicago and beyond, and I really hope that we Americans can keep showing the woke mob that they're not going to win, that we're going to stand by one another, and we're not going to let intelligent, well-intentioned voices be canceled. Yeah, people should be rewarded for their success by their hard work. That's called merit. I earned it. You don't want something there. You don't want to get something handed to you uh, for any other right. reason. Uh, Audrey, thanks right. so much. Congratulations on taking such action at such a young age. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You got it. And I look forward to hearing your review of his lecture on Zoom.